Welcome back and thanks for joining us. If you're new to our channel, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified of each new video. We just made it to Wikiva Island and I'm anxious to go check this out. No pets allowed. In our last video, we brought you along when we met up with our friends Jonathan and Elizabeth to kayak in the shallow waters around Wekiva Island and Wekiva Springs State Park. Oh, there he is right there. He's just sticking out of the water. We also found an alligator in real life. Yeah, cheers, guys. Cheers. cheers. In this video, we tour a 1997 Airstream B190 and speak with Michael Farrington, who is a traveling shaman. Hey guys, so today I have the immense pleasure of touring a vintage Airstream. I believe it's called the B190, but you know what? I'm gonna let Michael explain uh, the model. And it's the same model that Barbara has. And Barbara, we met at Orlando RV Resort a few weeks back. So same type of rig and actually they know each other, which is super cool. So this is the exterior. It's on a, it's on a Ford chassis. It's the Airstream B190 V10 engine made by Thor. So, so just a quick look around the exterior. And then we'll take a look at it a little bit in more detail. All right, can I come in? Yes. I'll let you go in. There's more room for you to walk around. All picture. right. Sure. I just had to clean up a little bit. I wasn't expecting company. Well, but if you want, right. I... No, 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 no. no? There's nothing. Okay. There's not much to clean up. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Right. <laughs> is, there, is there light inside? Sure. Yeah? Oh, come on. Oh, nice. Wow. So that is your... That's my storage area. That's the over cab uh, storage area. So you have your fan up there. Yeah. That could be a bed. Oh. This area could be a bed. Okay. It would pull out to here. Okay. And then it's a double bed. Oh. I don't use it. Yeah, it's better this, better used for storage, right? This is my bed. This flops into a futon. Or oh. flops out like a futon. Okay. Here. Yeah. See. Oh yeah, that's perfect. It works. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I've actually seen um, someone that did a conversion at RTR that the layout was almost identical to this. Yeah. Airstream does a good job. It's all it's all wood. And all right. Plenty, so, plenty so, of cabinet space. So you have cabinet space down here. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is your this is propane all, furnace. This is furnace. My junk drawer. Silverware, silverware, a double sink. That's yeah, pretty. That that's nice? pretty that's nice. Impressive. Absolutely. I've got an oven. Oven, nice. Yeah. That's really cool. And you have a three burner stove. Yeah. And so you do use a um, a little electric heater. I yeah. I don't like to use this. The propane uses way too much propane. For sure. I I know that. Yeah. yeah. So we, the electric little electric heater is just right for this size rig. Yeah. That's a little twelve dollar heater from Walmart. Okay, so yeah. then you have cabinet space up here. All kinds of stuff. I got extra bedding up here. Okay, yeah. And then this is this is like pantry oh, stuff. Oh yeah, pantry. You know, pantry, anything up there. And you do have an air conditioning. It, it works. I do. Oh yeah. Is that also? Does it have a heat strip? Yes, it does. Oh, lovely. And that's on electric. Yes. Okay, but yeah. you prefer to use this. I also have an onboard generator. Okay. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. The, my wardrobe's in there. And so you have this Dometic stove, and is that a three-way stove? No, this uh, is sorry. just a microwave. My mistake. So with, it, it with a freezer. It runs on electric and propane. Yeah, and battery. 
Okay, I, so it's three-way. That's if what. If I'm driving, I can put it on my battery. That's cool. So that you don't, you know, blow out the yeah the um, uh, yeah the propane. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. And then the microwave is key, especially yeah. in this kind of weather, right? Yeah. yeah. For reheating, but also sometimes, uh, you know, for a tea, a coffee, yeah. uh, whatever yeah, something you. Something simple. Yeah. yeah. That's my. That's it. And then the the bathroom is um, it has a it has a shower. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, the the curtain goes all the way around mm -hmm. and it's made so that you can get to the faucets here. This opens up. Okay. So you can get to the faucet. Let me and, squeeze in uh, there. Yeah, go ahead. Take a look. Thank you. Okay. And do you ever, okay, so that's the the toilet over there. And, and to the left is my wardrobe. And the sink and, but you, do you ever have the doors open? No. 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 I even covered the windows up. I just don't use that. Oh. The, my, uh, if I open it up, there's my uh, spare tires in there. Okay. And then I have other space in there, and that's where. But if you were generator. boondocking, would you ever like oh. open that up? Well, I'd get the generator out and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh no, I mean like just to air out the bathroom, for example, because of condensation. Yeah, never. No. Okay. I never do. <laughs> just curious. Yeah. And so this is your wardrobe here. Yeah. Yeah. You have a medicine cabinet over there, and then this again. Yeah, that's continued wardrobe. That's yeah. my. I I put my pants down there, and I hang up my shirts in there. My yeah, that makes sense. And then down there you have the furnace as well, the furnace outlet. Well, that just blows back to there. See, yeah. There's my toilet. Pan. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> that is handy. And so you have one swivel seat. Only one. They, I saw on my on that uh, channel that somebody worked this out to turn that one around. Too, they probably yeah I'm, installed a I'm kit. I'm one themselves. person by myself. You I don't. don't need it. Yeah. 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 I go through all that. Yeah, can you, can you give me a tour of the outside? Sure. Show me everything that's around there. Well, I have some special things. What's this? What I, what I... I mean on the exterior of the rig, though. Oh, what would you like to see? Okay, so. I... So to start with, it's a V10, so plenty yeah. of power. Yes. But, but how is it on fuel? 12, 12 miles to the gallon. Well, that's about what we get. 12.5 maybe it depends a little if i'm pushing it yeah or if i'm doing a lot of fast highway driving sometimes it'll go down to 12. okay but if i if i am and in mountainous areas yeah it would run around 12. but florida's pretty flat too so yeah, yeah. yeah it's pretty good yeah. coming down here i kept track of it all the way from new hampshire down and it came out almost exactly 12. So yeah i can say that and okay so this is uh this was made by thor is that right I, yes well i'm was, not sure i don't know if it was con converted by airstream or it was converted it was, by thor it's an, it's an airstream it okay an airstream. okay and i don't know if thor was the ones that sold it okay sold it that may be okay. i didn't buy it original i mean okay. i wasn't the first owner yeah i'm the second owner and all this is is a storage area and storage area oh it's, this is storage yeah oh look right at now, that well, see initially well, what did it used to be initially i had a a generator in here got it okay but i didn't it was an owning and i it was constantly giving me problems okay and it costs a lot to fix. Okay. And uh, so I did away with that. Okay. And then there's uh, storage down there as well. Yeah. So this is the back of your fridge. Yeah. 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 Okay. Now this is where you store your sewer hose. Yes. And this is your electric, uh, electric your shore power. So this is your water hookup. And then here you have a telephone one, one. and cable. Oh, telephone and cable. Look at that <laughs> telephone jack. That's so funny. Isn't that funny? <laughs> yeah. So this, this, Coach, this rig is actually from what year? 97. This is 97. three years old. Wow. That's, That's awesome. Cool. How much mileage do you have on it? 145, 146. And not too bad. Yeah. And I put on about 10,000 miles a year. That's not bad. The reason is, is because I sit. I sit for and a while. Don't move. I take my bike to the store. True enough. And so I'll park it like i park it for two weeks here. Yeah. I'll go somewhere and park it for two weeks. When I'm up north, yeah. I have a piece of land that I'm camping on, and it'll sit all summer. I'll take it out once every two weeks to fill it with water. Yeah, like, that yeah. is great. Yeah. Okay, so then your your tanks are here. So you have yeah. your, your... This is black water, gray water, gray. Okay. and my drain. Yeah, That's and it. the drain. My bicycle. Uh, 
Oh, okay. And you could actually tow a little trailer, of course, because it's a V10. So about how many p pounds could you tow? I don't know. No? I've never towed anything. Oh. But it's it's a but good, you could if you a wanted good system. to. system. It's got a braking system and everything. So yeah, yeah. well, yeah. yeah, for sure. You could tell you have the yeah. brake controller there. Yeah. But you use that for your bike primarily. That's that's all. Yeah. yeah. I try to keep this real simple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you have more 110 volt, or you have 110 volt there? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And then uh, this is your water hot water heater. heater. Yeah. Okay, and then this is water your... Fill. Okay, yeah. and that's yeah. your outlet for your... Propane heater. Exactly, and uh, my question is, where's the generator? Because you oh, were saying you have here. a generator. Yeah, it's in here. Okay. I, uh, I don't have to show you, but... No, no. But, yeah, it's yeah, in there. Okay. I, it comes out. I, uh, no, I'm, I'm it, it came with that. it? No. That one that was in that storage area, that's okay. the one that came with it. So this one you added? I, I, I took care of the Onan. They charge you a hundred and a quarter an hour to work on it. Oh. It just isn't worth it. Yeah, no kidding. No. Yeah. No, I gave up on it. Yeah. I... I uh, I sunk a lot of money into it over the years. Yeah. And now I'm done with that. Yeah. So that's a hard. How long have you had it? I've I've lived in this. Uh, it'll be seven years this April. Seven years. Yeah. Oh, lucky seven. I'm buying, uh, I'm all... No seven year itch. <laughs> yeah, no. No. I love this. I'm oh. having fun. Oh yeah, it's I've, too. I'm going back and forth on the east. I've been back and forth on the east coast because I have a itinerary of festivals that I go to. Yeah, I was seeing that. Um, Alchemy and labyrinths. Alchemy. So, so what, what is it that, that you do related to alchemy and labyrinths? Alchemy is the old science of changing lead into gold. Yes, I, I do know okay. that, yep. In a more contemporary spiritual sense, it's awakening human consciousness. Wow, Taking that is very interesting. Taking humans and trying to get them to understand their divinity. So, so, so that's what you do? That's what I do. So you're kind of like a shaman? I hope so. That is so great. Yeah. You know, I'm part of this um, shamanism subreddit. Okay. Uh, so, you know, Reddit, the yeah. app. Oh, is, Reddit, it, the, 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 yeah. Yes. So, uh, there's a group and it's uh, shamanism, but I don't understand a whole lot about it. But I just read every once in a while because it comes up in my feed. Uh -huh. So, uh, so that's interesting. I actually know, a l I know enough about it to know that you're a shaman. <laughs> <laughs> what I do is I have a, um, are you recording? Yes. I am. Okay. Do you want me no, to no, stop? No, okay. okay. I don't mind at all. I, I, I'm going to give you a brochure. Sure. But the labyrinth. I have a canvas one on board. Okay. And um, I lay it out, and uh, it's a it's. A, are you familiar with the labyrinth? I all? have no idea what no. that is. No. A labyrinth has been found throughout the world, and it's been found for millennia. Okay. They have shards of pottery with a labyrinth in them, date back 4,000 BC, mm -hmm. and it's been found all over the world. I suppose. It spreads. If it was there 4,000 BC, it's probably spread around the world. Yeah. But all these different cultures use it for the same thing, for meditation or, or prayer. Oh, it's a, amazing. It's a space for meditation. That's very interesting. And, um, it's a, it's a, I call it a microcosm of life because mm -hmm. it has a shore path to the center. Okay. A lot of people will see it when I lay it out and they confuse it with a maze. Okay. But it's not a maze, because okay. a maze has cul-de-sacs and dead ends, and it's more of a game. Okay. It was for the Minotaur. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the uh, but a, a labyrinth actually has a shore path to the center. Oh. So I, it's a microcosm, because we all have a shore path to our center. And it, when you're walking a path like that, you bring your, your meditations or your prayers, and you bring them into the center give it up to whatever your idea of the higher power or the or the life that gives life whatever that power is that makes your heart beat mm -hmm. and you give it up and walk back out with gratitude knowing that when you when you're walking in with an intention or a prayer you're changing your life and the along the shores of the uh, nations in, in in Europe especially uh, the Celtic nations uh, they put labyrinths along the shore. The women would run on them to bring their men home safe. Oh, on wow. Trips. Over in India, the pregnant ladies will have them build and walk a labyrinth to bring a healthy child into the world. Mm -hmm. uh, the Native Americans in the Southwest, the Turtle Tribe, they call it the Turtle Tribe because they do the slow walk, which is the labyrinth walk. Mm -hmm. And that's what this is. This is a... Uh, a turtle for for the slow walk that's a piece of jade 
Wow. And I carved a labyrinth. I carved the turtle first and then the labyrinth into it. Um, wow, how did you find such a large piece of jade? Did you well, mine it yourself? No, I, it came from China and I bought it from a place called Gemstar Gemstone in New Hampshire. Okay. But I can't get it anymore. You can't get this jade. Anymore. Oh, wow. And I, I still have a chunk of it. I paid money for it, but yeah. I have it. And I've built several of these. I've made several of these. This is... Um, so I understand theoretically what you mean by the labyrinth. So, the, okay, so this is like the, um, so you lay it out yeah. and then you, so practically speaking, you lay it out and then as you go along the labyrinth, you meditate. That's right. So how do you know when to go, when to move forward? You just walk. Oh, you're just walking. It's kind of like, it's, it's kind of like a walking meditation. That's exactly okay, right. Okay, got it. And when you're walking on a path like that, especially a circular path, that, and it's not it's not a spiral going in because you go in and then you go back out. Come look here. This um, that's an angel come down in my road. Wow. That is uh, enhanced tumor. The um, I give you my spiel. Looks this like is. a chalice, <laughs> doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. This is the, this is the, uh, where are you? Oh, this is the real picture here. It's beautiful. Look yeah. at that. There you go. And so that happened in front of me. Beautiful. And that was uh, 2011, Thanksgiving Day, 2011. Hmm. I was between Conway and St. Johnsbury, Vermont. Conway, New Hampshire and St. Johnsbury, Vermont. So um, when they put it on there, they got it in they took too much white out to make the glow show up. But it glows pretty good anyway, I yeah, think. Yeah, it does. I think it does. That yeah. is very interesting. Yeah. How appropriate that you saw it on Thanksgiving Day. Isn't that nice? Yeah. 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 That way, I don't know, I feel like... So, so you've, I, you've been to Sedona? Yes. <laughs> and how do you feel about it? Have you done some of the vortex hikes? I was not able to. I was, no, it that's was a too quicker bad. ride through. Yeah, but, well, you know. we did one uh, vortex hike, which was honestly, it was incredible. The f the feeling, the vib the vibrations that you feel through your body is insane. You're like, whoa, this is this is too weird. Yeah. So we did the Boynton Canyon vortex hike, and he was lucky enough to do the cathedral. Um, hike, which also brought him to a vortex, but I had to stay with the dog at that time, so I didn't get to experience it. But apparently, it was it was quite a hike up. It was pr quite a bit more rigorous. Yeah. So maybe I was actually <laughs> maybe I was lucky not to have done it. This is so a, that's there's a there's there's the labyrinth. That's the the typical seven ring labyrinth. Okay. And you can see if you get on the path and you go in, see how you go towards the center. Yeah. And then when you when you come on around, you go towards the outside again. Yeah. So you end up on the outside and then you go back towards the center again. So you do a lot of spiritual healing and spiritual counseling? I hope so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, it's a growing thing. Yeah. You know, there's, it's, uh, having done this as many years as I've done it, it uh, there seems to be people that follow me and, and pay attention to what's going on and, and change their lives, you know. If you understand, see this is the other thing, this is one, this is why I call it an alchemy labyrinth, is I put this, this is the center of my labyrinth right okay. here. This is, um, see how it's in the center of the yeah. labyrinth? I put this in the center of the labyrinth. This is the symbol for grace. Okay grace not gray sometimes people think i say gray but it's okay. grace the yeah. symbol for grace mm -hmm. black is the void out beyond everything okay white is all of creation the blue represents the earth the tan color represents humanity okay the yellow star is you the red from the void to the center of you is higher power god however you see that, whatever names you want to put to that. I, I hesitate to say because people have different names. Yeah, but Hi, a higher power. Higher power is good. So that's in you, but if you notice, you're big in here because your understanding of the divinity within you affects everybody around you. 
So if you understand... Wow. If you understand, I have to write that down and meditate on that a little bit. If you that was extremely profound. <laughs> if you understand that you have divinity within you. Of course. If you understand that... Everybody it, does. You, everybody does. Yeah. But you vibrate out and you affect everybody around you. That's another reason you're big in here. But and you, it's funny because... You have an effect on everybody. Absolutely. But also you tend to attract like-minded people. That's right. So it's, it's funny that we attracted each other well, because I, we're kind of... I saw your first smile and I was like, so I, I've been trying to touch base with you yeah. since I saw you the first time because I do recognize that. That's I rec amazing. I recognize the energy. You recognize that energy. Well, you, I find... It isn't just the smile. Sometimes it's other people, but... <clears throat> Yeah, but I can't see that by just looking. I have to talk to somebody first before I can I can I can feel that kind of thing. Listen. But you, but uh, hang on a second. But you're a shaman and I'm not, right? <laughs> I don't so know. that's why I know you're you may be a shaman too. So that's but sometimes why don't you have a YouTube channel? The, uh, because I'm very uh, old. <laughs> I no um, no I've just never done it. I guess I guess. Some people ask me that, and you I, should. Just, I just never have done it. You I should. I think there. I think there are a lot of people that could benefit from your teachings. Thank you. Thank you. It's true. There's a whole. There's a whole subreddit of people that want to learn about this. Yeah. Including myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's that is that is important. And I make little statements just on Facebook. I have seven sons. Okay. Did you see my license plate? Yeah, seven, seven sons. Son. That's amazing. So I have seven sons. That's hilarious. Yeah. Hilarious but cool at the same time. <laughs> and um, and well, it's been a pleasure oh, talking with you. And thank you fun. so thank much you. for opening your home to me. I was glad to do it. And uh, for showing me around. And you're welcome. And we'll see you around the campground. I'll be here. Great. <laughs> we hope you liked that video. It was the Airstream B190 and it's a 1997. And if you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, and we will see you in the next video.